I've done several videos in the past few months on what I consider to be one of the most interesting pieces of hardware that's coming out next year, AMD's RDNA 3 MCM-based next-gen GPUs. Well, it's possible that what was already an exciting piece of hardware might be even more revolutionary and contain an extra die that hasn't been discussed yet. This video is sponsored by UCDKeys.com. UCD Keys have a great offer at the moment with Windows 11 Keys for just $25, Windows 10 Pro Keys for just $16, Office 2021 Pro Plus for $49.90 for a lifetime key. I've used this service myself and the keys work great and are sent to your email super quickly. The keys also work globally. You can get an additional discount of 20% on all offers by using the coupon code code C30 at checkout. So that brings Windows 11 Pro, for instance, down to just $17.50. Get your keys safely at ucdkeys.com. Links in the description. So in past videos, we looked at the possible configurations for AMD's upcoming MCM-based GPUs. There are two possible variants, one with two logic dies and one control die with memory, and a second variant with an active bridge in between the logic dies. It's of course possible that RDNA 3 features a combination of these two. In addition to this chiplet's design, it's almost a given that AMD will also implement 3D stacked memory, just like they are doing with the upcoming Zen 3 refresh that will be announced next month at CES, commonly referred to as Zen 3D. So chiplets, perhaps an active bridge or a control die, and stacked memory. But could there be something else? Well, what's fascinating about these heterogeneous packaging systems is that companies can include all sorts of accelerators on board in addition to the logic dies and other components. This is precisely what we see in an AMD patent published just a few days ago where they propose the use of an additional die stacked on top of the graphics processor die. So you'd have a graphics chiplet and on top of it a die with a machine learning accelerator and memory. This memory could be cache for the accelerator or directly shared memory or a combination of both. This APT core die or accelerator processing device would contain a machine learning accelerator that could do matrix multiplication using data in the memory. Being stacked on top of a processor means that data transfers would not bottleneck the system and be much faster than accessing VRAM or system memory. There would be an inter-die interconnect between the graphics die and the accelerator die to enable this fast data exchange. When I came across this patent, I decided to make this quick video looking at it, because what's special about it is what this could be used for. The patent describes functions such as graphics operations or non-graphics operations that may be suited for parallel processing. If you saw my video from a few days ago, you might remember that I mentioned that in order to achieve photorealism in games, next-gen engines could make use of machine learning for other things beyond resolution scaling like DLSS. For instance, as I referred in that video, a game could be path-traced offline and then a deep learning algorithm could turn a traditionally rasterized scene into something that approximated its path-traced version in real time. I suggest you check that video out if it's not clear what I mean by that. Anyway, with this patent, AMD is showing how this could be achieved with a dedicated hardware unit in the form of a stacked die with a machine learning accelerator that would perform all of these tasks. Now, of course, before we get ahead of ourselves, such an accelerator die could have been developed with other applications in mind, not necessarily a GPU. So it's not certain that AMD intends to use this specifically in a GPU. It could be used for HPC in physics simulations or in computational fluid dynamics and other applications. It's possible that AMD could include this in a super Voltron-like APU with a CPU, a GPU and the machine learning accelerator stacked on top. But what I find intriguing is that the patent clearly states that this accelerator can be used for compute operations performed by the compute shaders in the 
the accelerator itself based on instructions sent by the processor. In other words, there's no reason why this couldn't be implemented in a GPU for graphics operations. It would be awesome if AMD is planning on implementing this in their upcoming GPUs and their partnership with Epic on the development of some of the features in Unreal Engine 5 could have led AMD to develop such a device with next-gen features in mind. Now, remember that not all patents result in actual products, and by no means am I guaranteeing that AMD is including a machine learning accelerator in their next-gen GPUs. I'm just speculating based on their patents and graphics presentations from AMD and Epic. In the past, I got a lot of hate because I speculated on Nvidia adding a co-processor for ray tracing to their GPUs, and I get that people get passionate about these things. So it's important to stress that this is just my own analysis and speculation and that none of this could materialize. Having said all that, it's pretty much a given that AMD's next-gen GPUs will be MCM-based and feature 3D stack memory. So a stacked accelerator is not wild fantasy, it's a real possibility. If not for RDNA 3, then perhaps RDNA 4, who knows? To conclude this shorter than usual video, it seems to me that the future of processors, GPUs and CPUs will definitely include such accelerators stacked on top of the logic with their own memory. With the end of Moore's law, it's only a matter of time until something like this is available to us, and that's going to bring some serious performance improvements for the specific tasks they address. They could result in DLSS-type algorithms that are indistinguishable from native resolution or real-time global illumination for ultra-real lighting, or perhaps even effects that we can apply ourselves to games. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. It remains to be seen if this accelerator die will be a part of next-gen AMD GPUs, but I've been hearing that AMD will definitely have more than just the two logic dies in RDNA 3, with 3D stacking being a prominent feature. Here's hoping for some cool surprises next year coming from Team Red. This video is made possible by my awesome patrons. YouTube revenue has basically disappeared, so without the support from you guys, it's impossible to keep a small channel running. Consider joining my Patreon for just $1 per month and gain exclusive access to the Cortex Discord server, where you can talk to me directly. If you can't contribute at this time, then please share this video and give it a like, as that really helps. Thanks for watching, and until the next one.